Ladies and gentlemen, what's going on? Once again, I'm your boy Nep from Nez Techlets, and today we are checking out the Surface Pro 3. Yes, this is an older system, and yes, it's got a crack along the side. But I want to do a bit about the Surface Pro series because this series seems to be, it's really interesting. It's, it's as if an, uh, a Windows system is trying to be a tablet. It's kind of taken off with it, but a, a tablet is a tablet and a PC is a PC, and that seems to be the big downfall to the Surface series. It's unfortunate it didn't last as, uh, as well as it should have. Actually, you can still buy Surfaces, but it seems to be the kind of thing that it came out. Everybody loves the Surface. It's nice, it's small, it's very light, um, but it's difficult to really do a whole lot with it. It seems like it's uh, it's an impressive thing to pull out during a meeting. And if you're in the kind of a meeting where you have to look really good, then as soon as these things came out, it was excellent. It was very good, very nice. The Surface Pro, Microsoft spent a lot of money trying to make the Surface go. And it just didn't seem to go as well as it should have been. I mean, uh, news groups, the NFL, reporters, they, were, they just poured this stuff onto them. Reporters were just freaking given Surfaces. They were just handed out. They were given away. Microsoft gave so much money to the NFL to use these things. And still the NFL sports commentators would just continue to call them uh, uh, iPads. And news corporations had these things. And uh, what, uh, what people would do, what the reporters would do, is they would use it as a stand for their Apple products. They'd just do this. And then they'd use their Apple product. But man... Uh, a PC is a PC, a Surface is a Surface. Some people who have Surfaces absolutely love them, and then other people, like the person that this was given to, it just, um, it was, it was kind of nice, it was kind of good. The speed wasn't there though, and man, they get hot. Like this one in particular, where my hand is back here, that must be where the CPU is and the GPU, because it gets so unbelievably hot back there. This thing has, has been used so little that the battery life is actually phenomenal. This thing's about three years old, Surface Pro 3. I got an i7 in here. Now, one of the curious things about this unit is... In fact, when I go to see how fast it is, it says it's uh, 1.7 gigahertz and also 2.3 gigahertz. Like, make up your mind. Which one is it? One or the other. I haven't seen that in any other system. I'm sure it's out there, though. Anyways, I had to uh, disable the touchscreen because of the, the brake. This thing wasn't working like it should be. But that button still works, which is good. The home, the Windows Home button that I'm sure that nobody uses. This has a um, display driver of Intel HD Graphics 1500, 8 gigabytes of RAM, and a 4-core processor, or at least 2 cores with hyper-threading. Now... Let's see what we got. I did a benchmark on it already. It gets a very low score, but you can't expect too much from something like this. I mean, the heat dissipation on this thing is horrible. I literally had to put a fan on it. So I, I, I got a mark of uh, 1,464 when I had a fan on it. You know what? I'm going to run another test right now so that you can see. Well, I got to put... Surface 3. I gotta let them know what it is because man, they let me use their benchmarking software. And then once this uploads, I'm gonna run it again and you can see just how well it runs. Then after that, I wanna try some old school games on it. A lot of people wonder why I run so many games on uh, the things that I review, and that's because everybody just wants me to. That's just what people are asking for, folks. It's just what people are asking for. So, I got this all updated, upgraded. Let's run that performance test. But as far as lightness, this thing is super unbelievably light. It doesn't have a GPS on it, but you can always get an external USB drive for that kind of thing. Getting system information ready. So something like this on the secondary market would only go for, well, maybe about 150 bucks just because the screen is broken. Once the screen is broken, this thing isn't uh, all that useful anymore. But let's see. Let me show you just how powerful it is when we get everything running. All right, so as we can see here, let me get a focus in on the frames per second. 10.35 frames per second. That isn't very good. It's been a long time since I've seen those planes fly so slowly. 
And the next Direct X video is definitely not very good. 2.6 frames per second. I believe this is the Direct X 10 test. Getting about 13 frames per second. And we're getting about six frames per second on the galactic thingy. So it's not horrible, but it could be a lot better, that's for sure. Okay, so the benchmark is uh, basically what I thought it would be, interestingly enough. So, let's take a look at what else this unit can do. We have the power, interestingly the power. They haven't changed it. It's still the same kind of interesting little cable. You can uh, use it either way. We got one USB and one display. On the other side we have volume up and down. And then on the back we have this awesome little stand. That can go all the way up, all the way down, very nice. Oh yeah, and the keyboard detaches. The keyboard is sold separately. And it snaps back into place very easily. I'm very happy, very pleased with how uh, nicely that snaps into it. So, one thing a lot of people might ask is, uh, one USB, like I don't even have any USB-C here. Why did they only give it one? I'm not sure exactly why. This thing was supposed to be used for moving around, for doing office stuff. But, next up, let's try out a little bit of the Vaudio games. So here we got a little bit of Doom, and the keyboard's not working. Yay! Oh wait, now it's working. Now it's working. Man, there's just something awesome about Doom. Doom never gets old. Okay, so the right and left works, but the uh, up and down doesn't for some reason. Okay. There we go. Man, there's just something classic about Doom too. Thank God for Steam. Thank God for being able to play any game anywhere, anytime with backwards compatibility. I just wish the cheat codes would work on here. Okay, so that's an interesting error. Could not reset the DirectX 3D device failure trying to resize the screen. Interesting. Well, it worked anyways. Now for the basic things, like just a simple reset, this thing is relatively good. It, it moves relatively quickly. Hi everybody, how's it going? So I loaded up Team Fortress 2 and yuck, it just does not look good. It, it seems so edgy, sketchy. I would have expected this to play a lot better or look a lot better than it looks. So yeah, it definitely feels like Team Fortress 2, but it doesn't look like it. I mean, Team Fortress 2 was released, what, 20 years ago? Something like that. And this is pretty... Pretty like edgy, pretty, pretty ugly look, and it feels okay. The Bluetooth lag on it isn't the worst thing, but j just slight lag. But man, once you're used to, once you're used to it being automatically like super fast all day, all the way around, uh, you start running into some problems. You start noticing. So here's a closer look, and you might notice uh, it's a bit sketchy looking. It's a bit not quite what I remember. But you know what? Let's try a different game. Let's try something a little newer. Let's try Grand Theft Auto V. So surprisingly, Grand Theft Auto plays relatively ably. I've seen a lot worse before, even though this, uh, this screen is definitely very small. It's so small. Everything's moving around very nicely. I can't complain. I can't complain. Not bad for a five-year-old system. 
So all in all, the system is still able if you have a need for it. I definitely recommend you get a mouse for it because the trackpad here is not much fun. This is the lightest thing that you'll find that you can actually use for office stuff. A lot of people say that they like to use their uh, laptop just for office stuff. And then very shortly after that, uh, they'll, t they'll tell you, oh, actually I needed it for this, this, and this also. Man, I hate it when somebody says, oh, I just want an old laptop for some games. Well, maybe if you want to play some old games, you'll get by. But... Mm, it's an interesting system. It's an interesting system. The uh, the the Pro, the the Surface Pro Three. Check it out. That's it for me, ladies and gentlemen. Like, subscribe if you like this stuff. Always appreciate it. And as always, ladies and gentlemen, take care of each other.